Hi everyone, good afternoon. Welcome to the New York Times Medium Sudoku for Tuesday, January 16th, 2024. My hope is to do this in under 20 minutes. And if you'd like to see my progress or comment on my strategy, go ahead and keep watching. Don't be afraid to leave a comment or like or consider subscribing if you'd like to see more videos and be notified of such. So looking at the start of the grid, I've got one, two, three, four, five. I have seven in the top three rows. Another seven in the middle three rows, that's 14. And then four plus five plus one is 10 in the bottom three for a total of 24. Uh, they look relatively evenly distributed, but the bottom of the grid looks interesting. I see five digits in row eight, so that may end up being where I get started. And with that, let's go. Okay, so what I've done here, just to illustrate a housekeeping thing, is I've turned on the highlight cell seen by selection. I have some trouble seeing recently, and I am going in for another eye surgery in a week and a half. So what I've done is say, if my cursor is over this eight, the light colored highlights indicate all cells seen by that particular selection. So it highlights everything in its box, its row, and its column. Now, usually I see two of those three offhand, but I don't usually get all three. And if I click outside, then it removes the highlights. But I've got some two, I've got two eights here, so I can place an eight one of two places in row three based on the positions of the eights in rows one and two, respectively. In the middle three rows, I've got a two and a seven. Uh, both of which are in rows four and five. Here's a two in rows four and five. Here's a seven in rows four and five. But unfortunately, they're not in the same box. That do, What that means is I do not have a two seven hidden pair. These two sevens are going to force a seven in one of those two. And those two twos are going to force a two in one of these three. However, this one's out because of that. This two sees that cell. So these are out. And that's a two, and that's a digit. Unfortunately, because I have the other three twos in the middle three rows and the middle three columns, I get nothing useful from that two other than row six and box five. Now, as for the bottom three rows, those two fives actually place that one. Um... If I say a 5 doesn't exist, I have one each of 4, 1, 3, 7, 6, 2, 8, 9. 5 is the only repeat digit. So I'm done there. Now, if I switch to looking by columns to see what other hidden digits I can get, I have all three given 6s in the left 3, and that's the only repeat digit. The middle 3... As mentioned, I already have a 2. Oh, but I should be able to place an 8 in one of these two. By this 8 and this 8. And that's it, I think. Uh, I've got 5 and 7. I have a similar situation as I did in the middle three rows with 2 and 7 when I look at the rightmost three columns. Those two 7s force a 7 in one of these. These two 5s are going to force a 5 in one of these, so... These two are five, seven, and something. I don't know what something is, and I know that five and seven must be two of those three cells on the left-hand side of box number three. Now, at this point, I have to start looking at other logic. Uh, row seven comes to mind because I have all the odd digits except 9. Now that one can't be 9, but the other there are three places for 9 in row 7. But the more interesting question might be, where is 2? This isn't... 2 sees that cell. This 2 sees that cell. So the only two places for 2 for row 7 both happen to be in box 7, and that means those twos and this one can place a virtual two in one of these corner spots down here. Now, 
since I'm in box 9, I see four places for... No. Yeah, there's too many places for one. Because this could be one, and this, and this. There are three places for one. I can't really mark that. But, 2, 5, 6, 8, 9, in row 8, I need 1, 3, 4, and 5. 1, 3, 4, and 7. 4 has to go here, because it can't go in box 7 due to the 4 already being in the box. Uh, as for 3 and 7, that looks interesting. The reason I say that is they can't go in box 9 because there's a 3 and 7 there. Box 8's already filled, so I have a 3-7 pair in box 7. That gives me 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Therefore, I need 1, 2, 8, 9. This cell sees 1 and 8. This is 2 or 9. Uh, that sees 1, so this is 2, 8, or 9. Those two are 1, 2, 8, 9, of which that's anything. That's not 2. Okay, so I've got 1 here. That means this 1 and that 1 forces a 1 and one of those two, but this is out, so this is a 1. That must be 4. Oh, 6 is one of those two. Uh, three, seven, five, nine, four, one. Okay, I've got one, three, four, five, seven, nine. I need two, six, and eight. <coughs> okay, that rules this out of being a two or eight, and that can't be eight. Ah, whoops. No, or eight. This is not eight. That turns into a 1-9 pair. Well, this can't be 9. That's a 2. Um, the only place for 8 is here. Okay, one nine two six eight. So these are 3, 4, 7. So these two are down to 6 and 9. This has a 9 looking at it. So I can fill in 9, 6, and row 7 is complete. Uh, that's not 7. But this is good otherwise. Okay. Let's see. Column 8 looks interesting because I have 5 digits. 1, 2, 4, 5, 7. I need 3, 6, 8, 9. This sees 6. This sees 9. But nothing else. Oh, this sees 3, 6, and 8. That is 9. So this is not 9. So this 9 and this 9 forces a 9 on the right in box 6. That's ruled out, so that's a 9. Which means one of these two is a 9. Let's see, I need 2, 3, 6, and 8 to fill out column 9, but this sees 3, 6, and 8, it's 2. So this is 3, 6, 8. That's not 8. But that looks good, okay. I've got a 3, 6, 8 triple in column 8, box 6, uh, and... Oh, wait a minute. Okay, this is wrong. Okay, let me undo this. I had a 368 here, and this being a 2, and this being a 268. If this is a 368 triple, this can't be 6 or 8, and if that's 2, I have nothing for here. So let me try this again. Uh, 
um, box or column nine, excuse me, needs two, three, four, six, and eight. Okay, this is three, six, or eight because it can't be two or four. The easiest thing to do, there's a three, six, eight triple, so these are one and five. That's the easiest way to go about that. None of these are five. Okay. Now, these cells are two, three, four, six, and eight. This is not three, six, or eight. This is not eight. This is not two. Okay, I put four in one of those. I think that's all I get out of that being useful. Okay, what else can I fill in that has a lot of digits? Uh, column five comes to mind. I have two, six, seven, eight, nine. I need one, three, four, and five. This cell. So, at the very bottom is anything. That's not one, that's not five. Unfortunately, I think I got five in one of too many spots. Let's see, one, three, four, five, nine. In column seven, I need two, six, seven, eight to fill out. Okay, this is not six or eight. That's not eight. That's not two. Okay, this is not being all that helpful. Boo, hiss, grumble, 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 grumble. But, uh, let's see what I can do here. Okay, these are, see, two, four, six, and eight. Those are nothing but odd digits. And none of them can be three because three's in the box. Okay, this isn't nine. This isn't one. That's not five. Okay, so the easiest thing to do with that, that's the even digit. That has to be 8. Let's see, 2, 7, 8, 9. Let's see, well, those can't be 6. 6 is in one of these two spots. In row 5. Two seven eight nine it says I need one three four five six. Those two, one three four five, because they both see six in the box and the column. Now this isn't five. That's not three. Not one. Hmm. Uh, what about column one? Two, five, six, and eight. I need one, three, four, seven, nine. It's not three. 
that's not four or nine. Ah, nibbity, I haven't disambiguated the three seven yet. I wish I have, but otherwise I'm stuck. Okay, what about row one, three, six, eight, nine? I need one, two, four, five, seven. Well, let's see. This sees two and five. Okay, this is down to four, five, or seven, I think. That virtual six tells me six is one of those two, but we knew that. Um, row four has two, four, nine. And it sees three, six, and eight also. This one sees two, four, five, seven, and nine. Oh, it can't be six because it's virtual six down there. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Uh, wait a minute. These can't be eight. So this is an 8. Ah, it doesn't help me though. See, if I were to say that's one, I don't get anything useful out of it. Um, it doesn't even help with checking. Uh, th no. This sees one, two, seven, eight, nine. So three, four, five, six is correct. Okay, these two cells here. See, one, two, seven, eight, nine. Oops. Hmm. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out what other interesting deduction can I make next? Is there a way I can do this without filling out the rest of the grid? I don't know that I see one. I don't know what to do here. Hmm. There's no obvious pattern that I see. I mean, this cell here sees two, three, six, seven, eight.
but 1, 4, 5, 9, in fact, any of them, are possible. In fact, I got. No, that could be 7 too. Wait a minute. Okay, this is not 7. Okay, that's not 9. Okay. And I clearly can't scan the grid because 1, 2, 8 are here, and then I only have 1, 2, 8 there. Okay, this is completely wrong. Those two cells, I need to drop out. Okay. Without 1, 2, 8, or 7, 9... Three, four, five, six. Now that's not four. I think that's anything. That's not six. Unfortunately, I think that could be 7, too. Let's see, this is a not 1, 2, or 8. But that's literally all it sees. Row, box, and column alike. No, wait a minute. Okay, that may be the break I needed. This can't be 9 because of that. These aren't 9 because of this. This isn't 9. Because that's in a 1-9 pair, so that... That's the only 9. This says this cell here is not 9. Now, the only place for 3 in the column is here. That's 7. That's 7, because this can't be. Now, this isn't 7. Seven's in one of these. This is not a triple, though. I wish it was. Oh, wait a minute. Six in one of these two. This can't be six because it's in the same box. Okay, so the only place for six in the column is here. Let 
this is therefore not 6. Oh, an 8 was long ago ruled out from being 8, so this is an 8. Therefore, this is down to a 3 6 pair, that's an 8. Three six will make that five because it can't be three, and this one because that can't be three. So none of these are one. I wish I had something else to go on. I don't think I do. At least there. Um, What's left? Hmm. Oh. This 5 means that's not 5. That's not 5. Okay. Column 6 is now reduced to a triple. But that's a tell me something we don't know uh, scenario. This isn't 5. So this 1, 3, 4, that's a triple. These can't be one because of this. And only that could be one. Um, wait a minute. One, three, four, one, three, four, one, three, four. That's a triple, so that makes this cell a five. And therefore, that's seven. These are not seven. One, nine, looking at this cell, that's a five. Okay, these two are definitely not five, but they're three, three, five, six, seven, eight placed. Yeah, and the one nine pair still isn't resolved yet. Uh, three, six, seven, eight. I need one, two, four, five, nine. Oh. Where does two go in the column two? This can't be two. This is the only cell for it, and everything else I've ruled a two out of. So these are not two. These two is a two. But I can't do work on anything else, I don't think. Yeah, that's that's not a three, four, eight anything because there's too many places for it. Uh, one, two, five, seven, eight, nine. Okay, this can't be seven. That is six. Well, that's going to help greatly. So this isn't six. Neither is that. Neither is that. Let's 
see, that's three or four. Yeah, where, where do I place a six? This is the only place for it. In column four. Now, um, the only place for six is here. Yeah, whoops. Okay, this, that, all right. All right, two, seven, eight. Now that's a triple in column seven. See, the only cell that's left to be filled is that one, which is not 2, 5, or 6. It's down to 1, 3, 4, 7, 8, or 9. 3, 7, 8 already filled in. Okay, 1, 4, 9, now that's a triple, so this can't be 1 or 4, that is a 3. This can't be 3 by placement, 4 by triple, that is an 8. And therefore, the rest of the grid is going to unwind after that because 7, 2, uh, 4, 3, 6, 3, uh, this 2 comes down, 8. This can't be 8, so that's a 6, which makes that 2. This 3 comes over, that's a 4. Uh, this is 7. Now that has to be 1. Okay, this is not 1 or 4. That is a 3. This is 7. Column 4 is done. Uh, these are down to 1 of 4, and this has a 1 looking at it. 1 is going to make that 5. This 1... That's a three, four. <clears throat> three comes over here. Four, five. This isn't four or five. That's nine. So that's a three. One, nine, one. These are four and nine. That has a four looking at it. And there we go. Well, I'm not proud of the fact that it took me the whole grid to figure out. Basically, it was just unwinding triples. <sighs> but I got it done, and ultimately, that's what counts.